Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Brian B. Take the Time Collectibles. Doing a quick haul for some back issues I picked up. I should say recently, but not really recently anymore. This is overdue. I've got a very large stack of new books to do a haul for. If I'm feeling really motivated, I'll do that after this. But anyway, get right to it. Show you a few things I picked up recently. These first two were gifts. If you watched my last video, you saw I picked up a uh, independent book called Zenober featuring dragons and I mentioned there was a really cool variant cover that was available from the site but I wasn't going to pay 20 bucks for it. Somebody thought that it was worth 20 bucks and picked it up for me so thank you. You know who you are and I appreciate it greatly. I'll show you that. I'm a big fan of dragons and this is a very cool big dragon. You can see already the glare here is going to be an issue. I apologize for that second issue I picked up actually I didn't pick this up this was given to me as well at the Florida Supercon recently uh, John Cassidy was there he was signing things for people and uh, I really liked his run on the Marvel Knights Captain America series it was like around 2005 and uh, he did some great covers for that so this is one of those covers and it's signed by John Cassidy and Gold Ink there across the bottom so it's another gift thank you Nice piece to have in the collection. If you've watched my speculation video a few months back, if you haven't, go check it out. You might learn something, might not. Might be entertained. But anyway, one of the books I'm specking on right now is uh, old Deadpool vs. Old Man Logan, number one, one in 25, Albuquerque Retailer Incentive. So I keep picking these up whenever I see them. You're probably sick of seeing it in my videos, but I got two more of these. It's at a good price point. It's a black cover, it's tough and high grade, and it's the first appearance of a character I think they'll do something with. So if you want to know more about it, go back and watch that speculation video. Uh, this book you all probably know about a famous Legion of Superheroes Adam Hughes cover. It's featuring Supergirl. This is not that cover, but this is just before it. Uh, that was Supergirl and Legion of Superheroes. This is just Legion of Superheroes, but it's issue number one, and it is the Jim Lee variant featuring another girl, Saturn Girl. I was happy to pick this up. It's a cool book. You don't see it too often. You see the sketch cover more than the color one, actually, believe it or not. For that time period in the 2000s, the variants, a lot of DC variants were only 1 in 15s, but they were for books that people, stores were not ordering any kind of quantity of. So. i got two more books to show you here. <clears throat> I got these in the last comic on the collection. I said in my previous uh, video where I showed the Daredevil one I picked up, it's been about three years since I've been able to cross anything off my actual want list because most of it has just gotten super expensive. But I was able to get two of those books this year. One of them was Daredevil one. The other one I'll show you in a second. This is not the book I'm referring to. This is something else I picked up in the auction. I actually have a couple of these now, but this is another book I'm still speculating on. This is I'll get you no glare here. This is All-Star Comics number 58. It's the first appearance of Power Girl. And I don't think it's an if. I think it's a when she shows up. Probably in the CW stuff before in the theater. But we're definitely going to see the character at some point. So I've got a few of those stashed. I think it's still an affordable key. But this is the book. This book's been on my list for a very long time. I said Daredevil was one of the last affordable Marvel number ones, and this is the other one. And some of you newer fans may not even know this, but before Nick Fury was African American and played by Samuel Jackson, before he was an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., Nick Fury was plain old everyday guy. But he was Sergeant Fury, and he was part of the Howling Commandos, which you did see in the Captain America movie, but without Nick Fury. So this is Sergeant Fury and his Helen Commandos number one. Sorry, this glare is terrible. 
This is a CGC graded 4.5, which is, I would have liked it a little bit higher, but once you get to six or more, it's just stupid money at this point. So I was able to get it for a price I was happy with. So I got two Marvel number ones in the last two months. That's, that's a good thing. Makes me happy. So real quick, I'm going to try something here. See if I can show you these without the glare. I'm going to move the phone and take it off of me and show you the books instead. See if that makes a difference. <clears throat> so bear with me one second here. Okay, maybe I'm not. It's not going to let me do it in the middle of the video. So. We will try this. I can't see what I'm showing you right now, but hopefully it's showing up without as much glare. And if not, then I'm looking really ridiculous and you can make fun of me in the comments, but hopefully you can see these better than you could before. There's a signature across the chest. Cool dragon. There's Power Girl. And Sergeant Fury number one. Well, anyway, hopefully that gave you a better view of those books. If not, I apologize. Mylars make the books look great, but cameras don't like them. And CGC cases have the same effect a lot of times. They don't scan well and they don't take pictures particularly well. But anyway, that's it for my haul this time, guys. I will uh, be back shortly with way too large of a new comic book haul that I've been putting off for too long. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy.